In the previous video in the Science of Alloderm series, we saw that the way alloderm is processed helps to support regeneration by maintaining important matrix properties while ensuring sterility. But what happens when an acellular dermal matrix, or ADM, is damaged during processing? In our next two videos, we'll explore this question using in vitro and in vivo data. First, a reminder that alloderm regenerative tissue matrix is intended to be used for repair or replacement of damaged or inadequate integumental tissue, or for other homologous uses of human integument. As a quick review, alloderm is produced with a proprietary combination of source material, processing regimen, and sterilization procedure, resulting in an intact matrix that is positively recognized and supports regeneration, as shown in preclinical models. Other ADM manufacturing processes use caustic or denaturing reagents that can damage the tissue in ways we'll look at shortly. Some ADMs are stored in ethanol, which can denature the native structure of collagen, or they're subjected to high-dose irradiation, which breaks down the collagen structure, leading to poorer host response. Cross-linking may incite a pro-inflammatory foreign body response, and heat lamination is not ideal because high temperatures cause the layers to melt together, which damages the collagen. We can see the effects of various types of processing by looking at the structure of different ADMs out of package under a scanning electron microscope. The images in the first two columns show similar morphology between native human dermis and alloderm. Native fibrillar collagen is evident throughout, indicating that the original dermal architecture has been maintained. The third and fourth columns tell a different story. Here we see the results of processing methods that damage the matrix condensed, compacted collagen, and a lack of evident fibrillar structure. When a tissue matrix is damaged, it becomes more susceptible to digestion by a collagenase enzyme. And here's why. The natural rate of digestion for undamaged collagen is dictated by the accessible protein cleavage sites. If a matrix is damaged during processing, the collagen becomes unwound, exposing additional previously hidden protein cleavage sites. This will accelerate the rate of collagen digestion. The results of a biochemical assay bear this out in benchtop testing. The dotted line shows the normal rate of digestion of native human dermis via collagenase. We can see how the digestion rate for alloderm, with its intact structure, is very similar. The same cannot be said for the other ADMs we looked at. This study showed that these matrices were damaged, leading to a faster rate of digestion by collagenase enzyme. Let's take a moment now to summarize what we've covered in this video and the one before it. If you haven't watched both of the preceding videos in the Science of Alloderm video series, I encourage you to do so. Alloderm is processed in a way that's been carefully designed to remove cellular components and antigenic material while preserving the native biochemical architecture of the extracellular matrix. Preclinical studies and animal models show that when the native undamaged collagen matrix is maintained, the implant is recognized positively, so it is not seen negatively as a foreign body. This minimizes any ensuing inflammatory response and decreases the potential for material degradation or encapsulation. This is what allows alloderm to support regeneration and transition into the host's own tissue. On the other hand, when tissue is damaged during processing, oftentimes its fibrillar collagen structure becomes condensed and compacted while its biochemical structure becomes denatured, weakening its structural integrity and leading to a foreign body response upon implantation. Now that we've talked about ways in which an ADM can be damaged during processing and what that damage looks like on the bench top, our next video will show you what this damage can mean in vivo. Spoiler alert, it's all about inflammation. <laughs>